Hello, welcome back to Expo Hub channel. Today we are into exercise number 49 and let's see what is the question may come in your interview. Before that, if you are very new to our channel, so let me tell you how our contents helping subscribers to get a job. And here are a couple of sample messages which I have received. You may pause it and in case you would like to read them. All right, now let's understand how you can take maximum benefit of our channel. To take maximum benefit, all you do, go to YouTube and look for our channel Expo Hub and click on this logo and you'll be landing onto our homepage. There, you can click on the videos and you can search for specific content. Let's say you are reading and you have got a doubt on specific content. You can always search using the video section search option or else in case you would like to start from the chapter wise manner, then go to our playlist and start reading the chapters as per the UiPath Academy, right? So with that, let's understand what is the question for today. So the question is, in the interview, the interviewer is asking you, hey, tell me, what is a unified target? Do you know anything about it? And which targeting methods does unified target use? Right? The moment if you hear unified target, what is unified target? I, I never heard about it right so that's where things may go wrong so i must tell you that you should watch this video and before watching this video i am hoping that you have already watched the previous video where i have informed you about what is a classic design experience what is a modern design experience okay so if you have not watched that i would recommend you to watch that first the previous exercise and then come to this exercise okay now let's get started and understand what is a unified target right now the moment the question comes if if i do not know about that i mean i would say i'm not sure <laughs> so you should not say i'm not sure you should be able to answer this okay so what is it let's understand now in modern design it uses a targeting method that targeting method is also known as unified target what is that unified target right so it for example i have to type into certain place I want to type into in, inside an application at a certain place in a certain text where I have to enter my input right in the input box in such cases you have used type into activity and you have indicated the element right all that you have done so that is the classic design in the classic design it is only using selectors right only using selectors it targets where exactly it should type but in the modern design Along with selectors, it also utilizes couple of other methods such as one is selector, the other one is anchors. So in classic method, you can also utilize the anchor, but again, you have to drag and drop another activity called anchor, um, anchor base activity. Then you have to do everything manually, right? So in modern design, everything you get automated. So that is the best use and fuzzy selector. You don't have to draft a fuzzy selector as we used to do in the classic design. I have a video on this fuzzy selector right so all of this would happen automatically for you right this is why it is called modern design and it also uses something called image so all of these four options or the four different targeting methods are used at one go while you are targeting something right we'll see what are the best possible options available and it's going to do that selectors anchors is available fuzzy selectors can be created if image is available so it checks all those things and whichever the available options are there it is going to write the xml fragment automatically for you so let's see what i'm talking about right so until we uh, do it practically we will not understand so first of all to use a modern design okay first of all what i have done i have created this project in the modern design view so i have told you in the previous video so this is the modern design uh, view I have created so here I can see app web so this gives an indication I am in the modern design so this I have clearly explained in the previous video now here what I am going to do I am going to work with UI automation okay now see I have got two one this all set of activities are modern design activities and this is the classic design activities so to enable this what I have done if you uncheck this so classic the classic will not become because I am in the modern design only modern activities are shown let's say I wanted to see them so I can use show classic so up to you so here I am concentrating on typing something onto an application so I am using a 
the activity or the container that I have to use is use application browser and using this container I am going to target that single application where I will be working on okay if I have to target multiple applications then multiple use application browser I have to do and I have to target them specifically and write activities so here in this example what we are going to do we are going to target something called rpa challenge rpa challenge.com it's a common uh, practice uh, site so rpa challenge.com and my job is to write let's say first name i want to write it here okay first name so what happens with the page you see if i click on round one or if i refresh what happens the position of the um, all the inputs gets changed see now it has come to the top right corner so it, it keeps on happening so in such a dynamic environment how do i do it so the best option i would recommend is to go for the modern activities which is quite simple to use let me tell you so what i have to do first thing i'll click on indicate application and i'm going to indicate which application or browser i want to do so i'm going to click on this somewhere inside the browser so the moment i do this you see browser url rpachallenge.com even though there is another site which is open but still it is understanding where i was targeting so it understood i was targeting on rpachallenge.com so it has noted it down okay after that i want to type so i will use a, again type into see i'm using un, from the modern design only i'm using type into so it has got a small uh, round color symbol do you see it right so that that gives an indication so i have used to type into now where i have to type let's say indicate target and i want to type let's say here first name i have to type here in the first name so the moment i do this and you click on it so what would happen you see automatically the calculation is happening and is going to collect all the required information and if you see it has collected for example selector it has collected what is the selector it has collected what is the fuzzy selector right it has also collected what is the image so uh, anchor so it has you see there is anchor also right so everything happens automatically for you so in the classic design we used to manually do it so now everything happening automatically for see anchor one there is anchor also here if you click on this i see there is anchor right this anchor got created so all of these things uh, happens very automatically for me so that becomes quite easy so now i have understood okay all i have to do is let the activity know where i should do what and then click on confirm done i don't have to worry about write the fuzzy selector if i am not sure i have to learn about fuzzy selector then write it so it does everything for me automatically so if i do this now let's say another best part let's say the rpa challenge.com is closed okay and i am running it so this use application can also open that browser or that application if it is closed if the application is closed it will try to reopen it if the browser is closed or the tab is closed try to reopen that so let's do it an experiment let's run it and let me tell you so you understood right the modern design how all of it it is utilizing okay so give it a second let it run okay so so what is happening now see it has opened automatically rpachallenge.com for me so it understood the challenge.com is not available at this moment it has opened it and let's go back it happened so quickly so now if you see has it typed my first name okay it did not type why it did not type because i did not write it okay so here let me write rakesh okay so i have written it and then empty field before typing single line i don't have to do anything with this so i will leave as it is uh, click before typing um, i can make a single click whatever is up to up to you um, uh, the click before typing properties re is relevant only for the hardware event okay this is not relevant so let me keep it none so this is quite simple to use and simple to experiment and now let me run it so what happened now now the rpa challenge.com is already there so it should not open a new page so automatically it will it will do everything for you so it should not open a new page now because it's already there so now you saw it has how nicely it has typed rakesh getting it so that is the benefit of uh, of this modern design okay so let's do one more small experiment okay what i am going to do let's say there is a notepad okay and i'm going to write uh, welcome to expo hub let's say so all i'm doing i'll use use application browser and uh, i'm going to 
indicate to this particular blank notepad so the moment i do it it automatically if you see it is storing the notepad.exe so that means if the application is closed so it will understand i have to reopen it if the application is open it will understand it is open it will do the job okay now i want to type so i will use a type into activity and here indicate the target screen so this is where it should type okay so it is it collected the selector it collected the fuzzy selector okay everything that is required um, so there is no anchor required so there is no anchor so automatically it is doing the job so in this case the anchor is not required so it has not done any anchoring kind of a work right so we understood uh, after that all i have to do is click on confirm validating selections everything is done at the back end and here let me type welcome to expo hub okay something you are typing now if i run it uh, here now my application is open uh, let's run it so are you getting it what is the unified target so unified target is a concept of a modern design wherein it has the selectors it targets in all different ways selectors fuzzy selectors anchors right image even using image it is going to target everything whichever is available it is going to target okay so now you saw it has written let's say if i close it i'm closing that application now let me run it so this simple simple experiments is going to enhance a lot of knowledge in you getting it it has opened and it has typed so you must have understood now what is a unified target so this is called unified target where it has got all those options to target an element so first one it is using selectors second one it is using anchors it could also it could use whatever is the availability okay it can also use fuzzy selectors or image so these are the four different ways it's going to target an element so which is not there in the classic design for the classic design i have to drag and drop everything and all the classic design is generally works with the selectors right if i have to use a fuzzy selector i have to draft it i have to do it on my own right so all of anchors if i have to use i have to again drag an anchor based activity and show it what is where is the anchor so this modern design is quite very very helpful if you are designing any new project you can always try to use the modern design and see how easy it becomes all right i hope with this examples with this experiments you must have learned a lot and you will be able to answer what is a unified target and which targeting methods does the unified target use so thank you so much for watching this you guys have a wonderful day please do subscribe to our channel please do like our contents and please do share with your friends and after completing this exercise please say yes please comment yes thank you so much bye bye